Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another OHD SDK tutorial video. And so in this video, I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can create your own custom faction. So this video, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Uh, but um, yeah, so let's get to it. So the first thing that you need to do is quickly, um, if you guys haven't watched my first video of showing you guys how to create a content folder for your mod, I would highly suggest you guys watch that first. It should pop up here somewhere. Uh, so watch that first and then come back to this video. Um, but then once you've done that, um, all you need to do is once you're in your main content folder um, of your mod, uh, just create a new folder called Factions. And inside of here, I made a folder called Icons because you will need an you, you will need an Icons folder if you want to use your own icon for whatever faction you're making so um and then once you've made the icons folder and imported your icons um i will come to this in a minute because it's a it's a specific size your flag for your faction needs to be so the size you guys can see here it's 33 by 22 pixels so um if it's bigger than that um it's not gonna uh, look very nice uh, on the minimap. So, um, once you guys have done all of that, all you need to do is right click, click on blueprint class, and then search faction. If you guys don't see the all classes, just click on this so it opens it up, and then click on this first one, this info base, and then click OK, and then you can basically call it whatever. So, I'm going to call it BP. Right? bp underscore faction info underscore underscore um swapo like so you obviously you guys can call it whatever you want whatever you want your faction to be called and then we can quickly open it here and as you can see there's a bunch of stuff here that you can um change so these button select styles is when you are on the spawn screen and you uh, can select between the two factions um that's where you change the the styling of those things there and you can also add like the sound stuff i haven't really played around with that and then you guys see here you have the capture flag icon so this is what it will show when you capture flags and also on the main base um and then down here you guys can see you can select the player's character like the actual mesh and then the first person arms mesh and then you have rally point class and then output class so um one thing that i will do it will be a video coming up um maybe after this one um i'm not sure exactly when uh, the video will be up but i'm gonna make a video going over you can make your own rally point for instance or outpost um but for now we'll just use like the default ones so you don't really have to worry about that for now um but then what we can do is we can quickly click your own character mesh and i'm gonna choose um i'm gonna choose the insurgents character so let's just let's just load okay and then once you've done that i'm gonna quickly add the insurgents arms like so and then for the rally point class uh, if it wants to click okay um i think i'm just gonna use this ru radio and then for the outpost also the ru outpost and then all you need to do um, here down below it says faction name I just type in the actual name of the faction so this one is just going to be swapo and then you can copy and paste this like so depending on how short or long your name is um, you can type in whatever you want here and then once you've done that as you can see here down below it says kits and then all you need to do is Depending on how many kits you want in your faction, this is where you'll basically add those kits. Now, that's another video I'll be making is going over 
how to create your own kit but for now all you need to do is like just add as many kits as you want so for this first one i'm gonna just search oops insurgents so let's see what insurgents um kits we can add so let me add the squad leader one okay it seems like it loads uh it like freezes like the first time uh when it like loads that uh, like asset so just um bear with me okay so it loaded that one and let's quickly add um one more so this one let's add a medic and then we'll add maybe another one um let's say hmm uh, machine gunner let's choose the marksman okay so once you've done that click save compile and then that's basically it uh, for setting up your faction um and then all i'm gonna do here is where it says victory text i'm just gonna change that to swapo as claimed total victory and then i'm gonna quickly upload or 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 actually import the flag image for this so just give me one second okay so i quickly just resized my image in photoshop okay so once you've imported your flag for your faction all you need to do is just open it and come over here where it says texture group and change this to ui um like so and then all we need to do now is go into our faction over here and then click over here and i'm going to search swapo oh. Uh, is that not what the name is? Uh, oh, Southwest. Uh, let me. Uh, I think it is this one. Yes. Okay. So once you've done that, all you need to do next is quickly come back to the main window. And then all you need to do is in world settings, come down. To where as you see i have my sandf um, faction set already here all you need to do is scroll down or if this is your first faction just set it to the first one or the second one depending on uh which side uh, you want your faction to be either in blue four or op four it's all up to you so all i'm gonna do is just change this one to my swapper one like so and then in here um I don't really add anything in this these things over here but if you want to you can add stuff in here um also this i don't i'm not sure exactly what this does uh, this basically just sets the default comms channel or i'm guessing this is like for in-game voice uh when you're talking to your um like the squads and stuff but um yeah and so once you've done that all you need to do now is just click play okay so uh, once it loaded, as you guys can see, or oh, as you guys can see now, if I make this a bit full screen, as you can see here's my SNDF forces, and here's my other team here. So it will be white here because I didn't change any of the styling, um, like my like this faction over here I also made. So let's quickly test this. So as you can see, if I switch to this one, this is the new one we made. The, the swapper one and this is one I made uh, before I started recording this video and then so you can switch between the spawn points you guys see here that's another thing um, I will be making a video on is I will make a video um, going over how to create a spawn point and stuff so let's quickly spawn with uh, this faction and so there you guys go you basically made your own faction at the moment so um, I will be going over a bit um, over a lot more stuff as I um, as I bring out the tutorials and stuff uh, it's just like um, I'm still busy like going over all of the stuff in the SDK and so I will make a video also as well going over how you can um, like import maybe your own character 
and stuff. Uh, but that's another whole other thing on its own. Um, but um, yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. If you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one.